Miss Rooster, are you ready to get a present? Hmm? Look what I got for Miss Rooster that I am getting ready to start on. I ordered lumber in Oklahoma at a place. They had everything I needed. Nobody had the square posts I needed locally, so I went to Oklahoma. They're going to deliver it Tuesday, but today, Miss Rooster gets a yard. That's right. I got four. There better be four in there. Yeah, four 16 foot, four foot panels. She should have this up in a few hours, and Miss Rooster will be running without that cable. So let's get started. First thing I'm going to do is string it out. It doesn't have to be perfect, but I want it to look halfway decent. So I'm going to string a line from the edge of this porch right there from that corner I'm gonna run that fence straight out here and this will all grow in <coughs> and it will match up even with that now that is not straight from what I've seen from the drone footage but hey man it's what I had at the time so that will give her a pretty big area for such a little monster look at her and she, she better stay out of my garden beds these things are starting to take off otherwise I will have to change it up a little bit is that understood I'm talking to you huh look here did you want your yard so you can get off that cable and then when you gotta go potty I just let you out and you can go on your own yeah all right let's get busy all right, I got her area strung out, and I got it square. The way I checked for square, I went and measured four feet there. There, I made a dot, and I'm, I measured four or five feet, made a dot, and you should get six feet from dot to dot across ways. And we were like within a quarter of an inch. I'm going to call it good, and I'm going to go straight down with the porch and straight with this fence and now I'm going to start driving T-post and then I have to put a gate on that side of the porch where the stairs are and then a little piece of fence across uh, here so she can't go all the way through and around so I should have this up in a I don't know close to an hour and a half two hours so let's just get going on it T-posts put up for this front part with all the rocks in the ground here you don't always get exactly spaced apart you may have to move two or three inches one way or another I did add a few two feet to the yard because they come in 16 foot panels I wanted them to end even so even though those two aren't four feet apart it's better than having two feet apart and uh, yeah, my string lines relax so now she can get in all the garden beds and i'll have to come up with something to fix that kind of kind of defeats the purpose of having them with i'm gonna put a dog yard in but she needs a yard she likes she needs to run around and have fun all that will return to grass but it's just her in there so 
because I'm not pulling in here to park anymore, obviously. So I'm going to get this panel I dug over here put up. I'll have to cut a piece. Uh, I did get an extra one with that in mind. So let me get busy on that and I'll be back. fence panel up using these fence clips so generally you can tell if your t-posts are level by going off the fence uh, sometimes you got to move them I ain't got anything to stretch this with unless I went and got the lawnmower but it's these that's the nice thing about these panels they're really, they're easy to install and they stay pretty tight and all you do with these clips Put that one upside down because of where it was, but I just take my needle nose pliers, pull that around, and just come over there. There they ain't going nowhere. A lot easier than wiring them. And I'll go get the bottoms here in a little bit. I'm just trying to get the tops installed. I spent a lot of money today, guys. That lumber was not cheap. Uh, they go all the way to Oklahoma they're going to deliver it Tuesday but I'll get everything and it, it's not going to be everything I need but I do get the roofing for the screen in porch uh, I got the materials to build the screen in porch uh, I don't really know what kind of roof I'm putting on the storage room yet or how I'm going to do it so I didn't order uh, the tin for that but I can get that uh, with my truck so I just had them deliver it just because they're already coming here I'm getting some big 20 foot panels and things like that so All right, this one's going upside down but it'll do the same thing can't find my good wire pliers, as usual. Rooster's gonna love this. I'll come around the inside and get that later. She won't get through this. The only thing I worry about is if she gets her head in there. I don't think she's that stupid. But you never know. guys I'm gonna pull this one back out I'm gonna show you how to do that without a T post puller I've shown this in my other videos very simple why go out and waste money on a T post puller when you already got one just get a piece place right there straight on with it you got these notches get your foot there push this back until it hits a notch pull same thing push it forward pull push it forward pull 
Yeah, that's the worst part of it, keep it that straight. But once you get a rhythm, pull. Push it forward, pull. Forward, pull. A little bit of time, hardly any effort. And your key post is out. What do you think of them apples? The tomatoes or bananas. Now, the way this is working out, this will be exactly four feet, and that will be exactly four feet. So, that works out good. It'll look better. I'll be back. All right, now I need one eight-foot section. So, I've already measured out eight-foot margin. These are 16, 16 foot, so I'll have exactly eight foot left. And if I'm a mark, you need a set of bolt cutters for this job. Which I didn't know I had to go get, but I need them. Always good to have one. You could use a grinder. Next all. Yeah, I'm getting ready to put this wall up, or this fence wall. This one's going to be challenging. It goes uphill, and there's going to be tree roots. And I ain't going to film it, because there is bound to be cussing, uh, hissy fits, and throwing things. So I'll spare y'all. Uh, hopefully it goes well, but it will be going uphill. And what I do is I'll measure down from the top four feet. I want two feet in the ground. That way every post goes in two feet with the lay of the land. So all of the T posts should be like that at the top of the fence panel. All right, let me get this thing going. All right. I know this is ugly. up on the porch one panel back there she's ready to come out fence is done guys yeah this was a tough one and there's a gap down there and nothing i can do i, I did buy landscape timbers and i think i'll run a, uh some of them up through there uh, i don't think she'll dig her way out that's nothing but rock so got that She's already been out checking it out. She's going to put a piece uh, right behind that ladder there. Keep her out of going back there. We'll get the weed eater out first and get this all weed eated down. And then I will show you the release of the rooster. Why do you keep getting under that chair and getting tangled? I know you need shade. You can go in the house. She will not go in. She hates going in the house. She loves being outside, don't you, girl? 
Alright, we'll be back when I get that last piece cut. Alright everybody, it's the moment of truth. I'm going to take one more walk around. Because if you miss something, that dog's going to find it right off the bat. Yep, she can't get through there. I will fix that tomorrow. She's not going to try to get through there. She's got a big area. Now, I've had rooster six years. I think it'll be seven. It'll be, I got her in 14, or I'm sorry, 16, 2016 of August. And uh, so, yeah, this August will be six years. I've got this panel up here. I've left the ladder there. I still need to get up there, I guess. Uh, all right, she ate her supper. Come here. I've got that blocked off temporarily. Tomorrow I will build a nice swinging gate. I can go in and out that I can latch where she can't. It's a bit of a challenge or hassle, you know, having that there, having this here. But I think Miss Rooster here is going to love it. All right, guys, here we go. Let's get you off of this. You got a yard, girl. Come on. Come on out. Come on. She doesn't even know it. Right, let me hook her cable up. She don't need that no more. Alright, here comes Miss Rooster Waldo. Look at her. Look at you. You don't got a cable. Yeah. She's gonna smile. Come on. What's going on? Come on. Here comes here come brother and sister. Come on. <laughs> what do you think of that? We you got your own yard. Go well, check it out. Look at that little girl. Get out of the shadow. You got your, yeah, she went right to that spot. She ain't gonna get out. You don't know, no, don't stick your head through there. I gotta see what she does. First thing they do, they look for ways out. That just ain't enough. You check it out, Rooster. Well, go show brother and sister that you're not on the table no more. What do you think? I'm gonna take that string off. So don't mess it. Mess with it. Well, she's just checking it out. So making sure nobody can get in. Huh? Come on, Rust. You got your own yard. Come here. Come here. Come here. What do you think? You gonna take your first poop you just ate? Take your first poop without me taking you. <laughs> I don't see your head stuck in there. I don't think I don't think she'd get stuck. She don't hardly have no ears. She's got a little old pig ears. What do you think? Alright guys. That's gonna be nice for me. At night time, I can just open the door, let her out. She'll scratch on the door when she wants back in. I don't have to worry about nothing getting there. And I'll probably go around and shore this up a little better, but it's it's not going nowhere. Come over here, Rooster. Check it out. Come here. Come here. Come here. I thought she'd be running all over like a hooligan. But I guess not. Come on, Rooster. Alright, guys. She's got a Check it out by this time tomorrow. She'll have every spot memorized and be running around going nuts. Happy trail.